Hey everybody, I want to welcome you back to another Ask Dennis at hashtag Ask Dennis. You can find me online at DennisJSmith.com. So I have another question, and this one today comes from Nina Kalari. She's got an excellent question on Udemy marketing. And her question is, what's the best way to pre-sell a course meaning that before you actually launch your course. And there's lots of good ways to do this. I mean, the first thing that I would recommend is building a mailing list of raving fans. And if you're new to online courses, that might be a little more difficult. Whereas if you've been doing it for a while, then you're going to hopefully have a list of individuals that you've built from your website or maybe from social media that are following you. And you can... Uh, put out little teasers along the way and let people know that you have a course coming out. And I found some great information actually on Udemy's website, teach.udemy.com, and then under course marketing. I'm going to post a link to that information because there's actually a an article that they linked to somebody who made, I think it said something like ten thousand uh, dollars when they launched their course because they had already been letting their followers and previous students know that they were working on a course. They were even saying that many instructors start sixty days prior to releasing a course, letting people know that hey. I'm going to be releasing a course on ConvertKit or I'm going to be releasing a course on WordPress or one of the many topics that are out there on Udemy and Skillshare. And you, and you can use these same tactics for Skillshare. The cool thing about Skillshare, though, is they actually let your students know when you have released a course. Now, you can do that with Udemy with a promo announcement, but you only have two of those each month. And I kind of wish that Udemy had the same concept as YouTube, where with YouTube, when you find a channel that you like, you can follow that channel by subscribing to that channel. I wish that Udemy had the option for your students could subscribe to you as an instructor. And that way, when you release a new course, you could determine like how they would get uh, an, 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 an excuse me, an announcement from you, and let them know that you've got a new course coming out, and you might be able to tweak it so that you can offer a, a certain discount or whatever for those students. So that's what you could do, like too, if you're building a mailing list, let them know that, hey, I'm going to give you fifty percent off because you're signing up to let me tell you when the course is available and share other information with you. So when my new course comes out in 60 days or 30 days or whatever, you're going to know first. So that's some ways that you can do that. And of course, on social media, you can do that. Uh, Build a following with a fan page or maybe the topic or something that you're teaching too. She also asked here, um, says, uh, before you finalize, oh, and what to offer as an add-on for those buying the beta version. Nina, I'm not too sure what you mean by that. I'm thinking that maybe you're saying that the first version of the course is the beta version and then uh, adding on as you go. I mean, you can always add new lectures after the course comes out, but maybe do something like I'm doing where you offer students the opportunity to ask you a question about the course topic and you can record something like this and then come back to Udemy or Skillshare and post a link to YouTube. Now you can do that If you do something else, you want to make sure that you let Udemy's trust and safety team know uh, because you can't collect personal information. I had sent them a message. I was thinking about doing something like this and having people email me their questions. Well, I wasn't having that in mind to collect their email addresses. I just wanted them to send me their questions. But Udemy said, no, you can't do that because you're asking for personal information. But you can certainly do that inside your course because you're not getting personal information. You're just saying, hey, 
If you have a question about the topic or one of the topics in the course, feel free to ask and I'll be more than happy to do uh, a video and reply with an answer. Or you can even do something like, I'm pointing over here at my MacBook, you can record a screen share and show them specifically on your computer like the steps on how to do something. So those are a few ways to, to do that. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't see... Like taking a look at my notes here from Nina, I don't see any specific like um, website. I wanted to like give her a shout out, and I will ask her after I record the video and put it in the uh, notes on YouTube, and then when I share this out to the Facebook group. But I'm sure you can put in uh, Nina Kalari, and that's K O L A R I to find her on Udemy or maybe find her online through Google. If not, I'll get that information from her and I will post it below the video in YouTube. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you have a question, go ahead and go to DennisJSmith.com and you can contact me or email me at Dennis at DennisJSmith.com with your question, and I'll be happy to answer and give you a shout out too. Let people know where to find you on Udemy or Skillshare or your online website. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Bye.